Hey guys. guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Ellie, uh, Lari, Moni, <laughs> and uh, we are watching Game of Thrones season that, eight. That sounded like Lamori. Lamori. <laughs> Lamori. 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 Yeah, so we are watching Game of Thrones season eight. No. Ah, <laughs> pitch meeting. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I thought you we were, you were saying yeah. we were watching Game of Thrones season one. <laughs> yeah. No, we are done with this. No more. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go. So you have Game of Thrones season eight for me? Yes, sir, I do. And I really want this to be over, so can we speed this pitch meeting up, please? Oh, I mean, we literally <laughs> just started. Well, I'm in a rush, so, you know, let's get cracking. I mean, okay. So anyway, the first two episodes are gonna be people kind of meeting and reuniting in Winterfell. You know, Arya's gonna sleep with Gendry. Oh, having seen her grow up on the show, that makes me extremely uncomfortable. Is she 18? That's certainly what people are gonna Google, but yes, she is. Yikes, okay. And then episode three is gonna be when the Night King and his army are gonna arrive in Winterfell. Oh. Oh my god, the moment we've been building towards for eight seasons. Yeah, and so Bran reveals that the Night King wants him, because he's kind of like the memory of Westeros. Oh, why? Because that's his motivation. <laughs> well, okay then. <laughs> so then the Dothraki charge at the dead army, and they pretty much all get wiped out. Oh my god. Until a couple of episodes later, when they kind of just multiply, because I need more of them. Oh. Anyway, then I the zombies are going to yeah. charge at the good guys, season. and there's just like a wall of them. Oh wow, it sounds ah. like World War Z. <laughs> exactly, yeah, it's going to be like watching World War Z, but with, you know, like five pairs of sunglasses, on. What? So there are just tens of thousands of zombies and they're just swarming everybody. Wow, it's gonna be tough for the main characters to live through an attack like that. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, anytime a really important character gets swarmed, we're just gonna kind of cut away from them and then come back later to see that they're fine. Wait, so how do they survive? By being off screen for a little bit. I guess that makes sense. Oh, also, Bran is gonna warg into a crow. Oh, why does he do that? Unclear. Okay, gotcha. Anyway, eventually the Night King's gonna do that thing where he raises his arms and all the dead come back to life. Oh boy. Yeah, and Tyrion and a bunch of people are down in the crypt, so, you know, it gets scary. So they're fighting a guy that can raise the dead and they go hide in the crypts? I thought Tyrion was the smart one. He used to be, but now I need things to happen really fast, so that's all over. Oh, okay. <laughs> and so then Jon screams at a dragon for some reason. That's, that's cool, I guess. Maybe. And then Arya sneaks up on the Night King and stabs him, and you know, that's the end of winter. Oh, it's over? Yep, all done, so moving on. <laughs> wait, 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 that's just it? <laughs> yeah, that's it. So anyway, but we've been building towards this for eight seasons. Seasons. It's just done with a quick stab. It is, yeah. So what was with the Night King's connection to Bran or that weird symbol that kept popping up or the fact that the White Walkers... Get... Listen, sir, I'm going to need you to get all the way off my back about winter, okay? It's over. We got to move on. Oh, I just feel a little empty inside. It feels like this could have been fleshed out. Well, there's no time. There's only a couple of episodes left. You can have more episodes if you want. I just don't see any other way other than rushing it. <laughs> you could do it in more episodes. Ah, uh, damn this short final season off. Oh. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so after the Battle of Winterfell, everybody's part but Danny is just sitting alone, all isolated, looking pissed where there's Starbucks. Did you say Starbucks? And in the next episode, she yeah, flies to King's true. Landing. But then Euron yeah, but then and the Iron know. Fleet snipe yeah. Rhaegal out of the sky with those scorpion things. What? How did Danny not know about the Iron Fleet being there? Well, Danny kind of forgot about the Iron Fleet and Euron's forces, but they certainly haven't forgotten her. She forgot? She forgot, you know, a lot of stuff on her mind. I mean, okay, and does she blow up the ships with her dragon? Oh, no, I mean, a dragon is no match for a bunch of scorpions. Oh, okay, yikes. And then Cersei ends up killing Masande, you know, so Danny and Grey Worm are pissed. And does Danny remember who Cersei is? Of course she does. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I needed to ask. So then in the next episode, Danny just destroys all the scorpions in like a minute with her dragon. Wait, what? Yeah, I mean, a bunch of scorpions are no match for a dragon. Oh, but you just said the opposite. <laughs> oh, well, I kind of forgot about that. Well, okay then, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, now Cersei doesn't have any scorpions, but she does have the Golden Company. Oh yeah, we built those guys up to be badasses. So what are they gonna do? Die immediately. Oh my god. <laughs> and then Cersei Cersei and everybody surrender, but Danny is mad now, so she's not satisfied. Oh, uh, so she goes to kill Cersei? Exactly, but she starts with, uh, you know, everyone else. She does what? Yeah, she's mad now, so she burns women and children. Oh, that feels like quite the leap character-wise. Well, she's been killing people for years, you know, plus two of her dragons died, a couple of her friends, her nephew doesn't want to sleep with her. Yeah, but these are women and children. <laughs> Listen, I want her to be the bad guy, and I don't really have time to flesh out the justification. Would you like some time? You can have it. No. <laughs> ah, dang it, okay. Anyway, so Grey Worm and the Unsullied start 
start killing a bunch of people, and so do the Dothraki, who are now not dead. That's right, and Jamie's running around too, because after the Battle of Winterfell, he took off to see Cersei. Oh, was he going to kill her? Because that's a great way to wrap up his redemption arc. Oh no, he's going to be with her. Oh, he is. Yeah, he sleeps with Brienne, then leaves her crying, and takes off to go be with his sister again. Oh, it kind of seemed like we had a whole redemption thing going for like eight seasons. Oh yeah, we're gonna undo all that in like three scenes. He's even gonna be like, I never cared about innocent people. Oh my god. And then he and Cersei both get taken out by falling bricks. I mean, okay. And at the end of the episode, Arya sees a white horse and rides off like, on it. Oh, cool. People are gonna have a lot of theories about that. Yeah, and so at the beginning of the next episode, she's walking around in the rubble and she sees... Wait, what happened to the horse? Oh, we'll see what happened with that was that... Did I you forget about the horse? I <laughs> forgot about the horse. She forgot about the horse. It's a very forgettable horse. Okay. So anyway, then Tyrion's like, I'm pretty sure I don't want to be the hand of the queen anymore. Because of the child murders? Because of the child murders, that's right. So he gets put in a cell. Yeah, I guess that's treason. Exactly. So now all the pressure's on Jon Snow, you know? What's he gonna do? Oh yeah, what has Jon Snow been up to this whole time? Oh, well, I had a bunch of cool lines for him, but then I was messing around with the search and replace on my computer, and somehow all his lines changed to, she's our queen. Really? All of his lines? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I did go back and change a couple of them to, I don't want it. But other than that, yeah, pretty much. Well, okay then. So anyway, then Jon goes to see Danny in front of the Iron Throne, and he, you know, stabs and kills her. Oh my god, just like that? Yeah, I mean, there's no time to draw this out at all. But there could be. But there's not. So then Drogon gets all pissed and burns the Iron Throne, then flies away with Danny's corpse. Wait, did he understand that the power of the throne corrupted her, or did he just get mad at the one pointy thing in the room? I don't know. Fair enough. So anyway, then a couple of weeks later, John's in jail. So he just walked out of the room and confessed to the murder? It certainly seems that way, so Grey Worm really wants him and Tyrion to see justice for betraying Danny. Okay. So Tyrion and Grey Worm go in front of the Council of Surviving Characters, and Tyrion decides that Bran should be king. Wait, the guy that's on trial decides that? Well, I mean, the Council votes, but Tyrion really does run the show, yeah. And why does he think Bran should be king? Because who has a better story than Bran? I mean, arguably any other character. And shouldn't Jon become king since he's the rightful heir? No, he's gonna be sentenced to go hang out with his friends up north. So that whole Aegon Targaryen thing was basically for nothing? Pretty much. Same for that Arya faceless man thing too, actually. Oh, subverting expectations is tight. Well, I wouldn't say that it was about subverting expectations. It's more that I, how do I say this, uh, forgot about it. Oh, right. And so Sansa becomes the queen of Winterfell and Arya takes off to explore. To explore what? Well, she wants to find out what's west of Westeros. <laughs> Can't Bran just tell her that? Apparently not. Plus, he's gonna take off to go find Drogon. Oh, why? Because. Okay. And also now Bronn <laughs> is the master of coin. Isn't he the worst possible person for that job? Well, he threatened Tyrion, but also he really likes coins. I guess that's qualifying. And so, yeah, that's about it. Well, it sounds like a compilation of moments that can benefit from being spread over 20 episodes instead of six. Yeah, I mean, that's a good point, but keep in mind that I don't wanna. Right, sure seems that way. <laughs> Besides, fans are automatically gonna love this. I mean, it's Game of Thrones. <laughs> I think it's even more. Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Hope you enjoyed that pitch meeting. We have a ton of these on the channel that you can check out. You could also leave me a. Okay. Uh, now I had something like what? Like it's completely sad because it's so true. Yeah. Uh, on this we don't have any doubts. But yes. he literally actually, said everything that we. Yeah. yeah. But I take thought about something. They could make like uh, Arya pretending like being faceless, or she can pretend just just if the person is dead. Okay. Can she? Um, when the person I is mean, alive, can't she know. pretend being it? We don't know. No, she has to have taken the face. Ah, okay, so no. <coughs> so my theory is not working. Uh, no, but the, <laughs> someone in the comments said that it's not necessarily true because we saw it, her face, while she was alive. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Like, we don't know it, but... So they screwed that story as well. <laughs> yeah. No, but <laughs> she could use this, like, uh, pretending to be Bram for the Night King, you know? Oh. Um, Let, and she would use uh, this uh, ability uh, and just no can keep it. Or yeah, or the Night King goes and watches Bran like this and she's like, surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> or pretend to be the Night King. No, but um, he's like a magical. Like, okay, then I just... I mean, they used it like skin and he didn't really hit like normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. It's sad because it's true. <laughs> Uh, no, it's funny because it's <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, exactly. it's sad because it's true. And but it's in some moment, yeah, it's just sad. Yeah. See you next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>